Welcome to another episode of the Immigrant Show. The you know, Immigrant Show. Is that show where two immigrants <laughs> speak their mind? Yeah. It's a random Mexican guy. The rest, some random Mexican guy and friend. <laughs> and a friend, yeah, <laughs> and friend. Uh, that's how we do over here. Yeah. So yeah. What is, what's on your mind, bro? Dude, I don't know, man. Like FBA raids and stuff. A bay Do, raids? What no, is that? FBI, FBI. You know, cause FBI because they, <laughs> they raided they raided Trump's. Uh, oh man, I don't I don't know what I find more entertaining the fact that he got that uh, his house got raided, or the way uh, people are responding, and it's it's uh, spe- especially uh, not 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 even like Republicans. It's like MAGA fox people you know not republicans like mega fox people specifically the way they're reacting they're like flipping out i'm um, probably one of the most uh the, the funny shit was uh that taylor green lady mm-hmm. who uh tweeted a picture of the american flag upside down which everybody which a lot of people found comical because what happened to hey respect the flag you know you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do but you gotta respect the flag you know what i'm saying you can't do that because that's not nice <laughs> But I really thought that uh, the American flag turned upside down means uh, a sign of distress. That's that's not, actually the original meaning for it. Um, not I don't know about necessarily a sign of distress. I just, I know that for a long time, um, um, in, uh, in in activism and, and such, as a person that's flown an upside down American flag is is because you know you're rebelling against it. You're rebelling against the the government. Yeah, there may be some places that an upside down flag means a sign of distress, but it's like I guess it's a form of distress. But the the point being is that any form of disrespect to the flag, other than it being the way it's supposed to be, like it is on that wall over there. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> which, by the way, these flags are not ours. They're 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 just here. Um, <laughs> it was, it was like what are they what the the fun the FBI. <laughs> Bro, they're flipping out, and like they don't, like we don't even know yet, uh, what, why or anything. Like the FBI is, 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 did what it does, which um, investigate, it, it investigate, and like breaks into people's houses. Like su- 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 surprise, surprise, this is what they've done. And <laughs> no, I'm not saying I'm okay with that shit, but like you can't, you can't be hypocritical about when it's. It's okay when they do it to somebody else, but not. It's not okay when they do it to you. You know what I'm saying? And it's and it's just so. It's really so comical, um, how they feel so betrayed. Which uh, what what are the biggest uh, another one of the biggest uh, funny things I've seen is that the director of the FBI was appointed by Trump. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Hey, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? I mean, oh, <laughs> what man. you mean? My man is doing his job. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, dude, bro. That that shit, that shit's so wild. That um, shit is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Some some people are speculating. It's like, yo, is is that why he buried his wife in in in, in, in his golf course so that he could hide some shit in there? <laughs> oh, mad bro. Jewelry. Bro, this dude, man. Oh man, it's it's just so funny. Who was that, who was that listening to that that made a really uh, with the observation? I think it was Trevor Noah. He's like, 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 yo, Trump is always working. He's always like, this man is always busy. This guy got it. He's like, he's like, even 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 when. Even when you think he's not doing something, he's getting himself into trouble about something. You know, it's like he's getting investigated for this, investigated for that, doing this, doing that. It's like, bro, how do you have so much time? Like, <laughs> hey, well, we need McDonald's oh, like that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, man, you gotta, you gotta have that time, bro. You gotta have that time. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy how people are legitimately trying to prevent the government from doing its job on either side and it's it, it, it's borderline pathetic at this point in my opinion because I've, I've come from a country where the cops didn't do their job and it was not a nice place and you know we came here because there were rules and those rules applied for everybody right. and um, all of a sudden they're like nah <laughs> <laughs> 
get them not, don't get me you know when i do it is okay <laughs> yeah which is crazy yeah which yeah. is like legitimately bonkers and what can you do i mean just it's it's that's the problem see. yeah it's that that's i think that's the problem when people start idolizing people uh w- which is basically the whole trump movement right now it's he's their idol i don't understand how or why um i don't i i really don't envy him at all i think that he's a megalomaniac and i think that people like him are really detrimental to society overall so why would you not want those people taken away from your society right like those are not good people they have no good influence i cannot i i think that with trump would be probably the only type of person where if i ever had a chance to talk to him he like i would not enjoy that conversation i would not learn anything from it man and i'm normally i'm pretty open minded about anything and it's I just would like doubt every single word he said yeah yeah <laughs> it's like it's ridiculous yeah mm. yeah and it's ridiculous because um because of his behavior it's like dude like if somebody does that like you'll be the first one shouting oh investigate this investigate that but <laughs> and, uh, yeah and uh, um an- another another funny thing cuz so, so many so many funny things like it's, it's, it it really is um that uh what is it since uh in new york is uh they're investigating his like business dealings um he was i forget the word that they, that they use um but they called him in so that he could you know oh he pleaded he, the he, fifth he pleaded his case and he pleaded the fifth and now everybody's again playing those videos because that's so, like I, like these people forget that we have that there's videos of, of things that you said you know so yeah, yeah. so it's, it's it's hard to hide your bullshit you know and i think he, he may have you know he was in that in in that uh he uh, in his lifetime he lived to that point where he could bullshit people and they couldn't fact check him to now where he's like no bro you like we're fact checking you on in real time yep and this dude for the longest time was saying anybody that pleads the fifth is a crook only mob bosses do this only only criminals plead the fifth and it's like dog do you come on man and and and, and, and not me bro, yeah that, yeah man and and it's in and, and again it goes back to it goes back to um the village idiot is going to be the village idiot is the is the villagers that listen to the fucking village idiot you know yeah. that 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 that's concerning to me because a lot of them they just they just like do what the idiot says yep. um and these people just if you're still defending him why because it, he's their idol bro, I, I, know, yeah. I, I know but it's like, i need to hear from you it's like because because to them he's not an idol you know because to them it's like oh no i i i just like him um i trust as much as anybody it's like no you don't like you, you're you're you're, 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 willing, to, you're willing to put yourself you know um you're willing to sacrifice yourself like the fact that he that he um after after he lost the election he was uh he was raising money so that he could um fight the election fraud and everything he raised mad money and surprise surprise he didn't use any of that money for for his uh to, to overturn the election yep you know <laughs> but see that, that that's what happens like all the time dude and it's it's on both sides and that's what really the scary part it's similar to that thing where um John Leguizamo is now totally against this um um you're gonna have to to make those connections uh, uh, he he fidel castro movie uh because uh and right like james franco playing fidel castro because he's not latin and like dude it's a fucking movie bro like relax like those are professional liars (laughs) that you know how is that how is that like trump dude because it's it's again so stupid like to to me to me it's it's the same thing it's just in the it, it you know when like sometimes when you take a shit it's different colors like sometimes it's like right light brown other times is it is dark brown and and like that like you cannot 
you cannot be just screaming <laughs> like when people are doing something just screaming out there like yeah this is not correct because of this and this and like dude especially when it comes to politics and and, and movies right no uh, no no they're, they're, what no bro they're, they're they're not the same like, they're the same no, the, the idiocracy is there no, like, I, no I, Trump. Trump is just straight up lying. Like he's caught. Like he's complaining about people doing something, and then he's doing it himself. John Lennon was not is not saying something and then doing something himself. No, the the, the whole the, that's. I feel like that, those are just two separate topics. Um, could you disagree? The only similarity I see is that you disagree with both. I don't think that they're the same. I think you just disagree with both, because in a way, like. The John Leguizamo thing, I've, I've had mixed feelings about, um, it's, it, it, it was essentially, essentially is that you have Spanish actors that could play this character, and they're choosing a white actor to play this character. They're just, they're What? just, they're just, they're just actors. So like the way I, I, uh, the, I guess my, com my conflict is that uh, pick the best one for their job. Now, in a perfect world, yes, that's that's what I would say. But when there's a, when there's a history, especially in Hollywood, at least um, uh, from from what I understood uh, uh, reading about this, uh, uh, spe specifically this John Leguizamo thing, like uh, his explanation was that in Hollywood for for the longest time, um, Spanish actors, kind of like what I was telling you about Babe Ruth, like that's what I thought it was really funny. Um, quick quick side note: there's a, there's a theory, a hypothesis that Babe Ruth wasn't actually white. But that's neither here nor there. But um, what he says is that for the longest time, Spanish actors or any uh, ethnic, any actors of color, they had to like hide their ethnicity um, for Hollywood. So they had to sacrifice that part of themselves. They couldn't be themselves because it was all white people. So being that, I mean, dude, you're an actor, bro. <laughs> Come on, like. No, back then there was only there were only white people. Like they were they were oh, blatantly yeah. racist. Uh, they were they're blatantly racist towards people of color of of any spectrum so um having that history being not so not that far back um being in a place where we can actually get a spanish actor to play this this role he thinks that why can't we just get a spanish actor so i understand living through that having him uh or having people live through that and being at a point where hey we can we can actually get a spanish actor to play a spanish person Um, I th I see that's it's understandable. I don't I don't see it as necessarily bad. But at first, I, I, I generally don't care. You know, I uh, think Francis okay. Franco is a is an alright actor. Um, I, I just cool find it Spanish funny, actor, but I really don't. I don't like, think it's that I, serious. I find it funny because I've seen quite a few Broadway plays, musicals, and one of the most recent ones that I saw was Hamilton. And uh, there was a case where a black actor was playing Hamilton. And for you to come out and say this shit is just like, is the same thing as saying, well, a black actor should not be playing Hamilton because Hamilton was white. Like, it, it, it just makes, like, no yeah, sense in, uh, in, in, per, in, in that case. Yeah, yeah. Like, See, like, that, that's kind of... It's an of, actor. That, that's why, that's why I, I, I say, like, in a perfect world, yes. The best person... Um, for the for the role or anything in that matter, let's let's pick it. But I think what um, what 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 the what what a lot of people want is just like just representation. Um, and I think again that we're 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 not we're not in that in that place in time yet where everybody is equal and that it really shouldn't matter who plays who. I think that we're still at a at a point where um, when you when you cast when you cast fucking uh, this oh perfect this perfect example. Um, uh, when you uh, when you cast a person uh, a person of color that uh, like plays Batgirl, people lost their shit when uh, when when the movie Eternals came out. I, I told you it's like and they had and they had a, a gay a, a, a gay couple or they had a, a Muslim person. People lost their shit, and it was it was like that had nothing to do with the role. It was just representation. So so we're 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 especially in the time that we're living. I think that representation matters, and it and it does, and it does help it like help expand the lens of who we are as people and movies and entertainment is is a big part of that yeah and when, but and when you only always see white people then you know when you add on a person of color it's it's a big deal for the people of color gotcha you know and 
Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I think that in a project like that, for that movie, for that Castro movie, where I think huge majority of the actors are Hispanic, to, to make a big deal for one actor who happens to be playing the, the main role, well, that's the gist right and, there. And, it's and, the main role. Yeah, but like the motherfucker looks like him. Like James Franco, you put James Franco, <laughs> scruffy James Franco ne next to fucking picture Fidel Castro. You're like, okay, oh, I understand why they... they, they cho <laughs> like, I, I could find so many. I, could, I, oh, I forget his name, but there, there's... Because there's, I saw a couple of pictures of other actors that could play Fidel Castro that look like Fidel Castro and are Spanish. Oh yeah! Like, please like, put them all here. Yeah, yeah. Because if that's because if, if that, please like, put that, them that right here. Be the, the, I mean, they, I'm sure they have to go with like their acting I, abilities. I was gonna say, are they just as good as James Franco? Because James Franco is not just an actor; he is a producer, right? Like the dude has. Oh, they're looking for actors. I don't think when you were hired for to an acting job, they want you to be a producer or a director. Yeah, or no. But like what that. I'm saying is, like, if James Franco is the highest of the highest that they can get. The actor with the best ability, the actor with that looks like him, like, and then the rest of the project is representing the minority that feels un underrepresented. Like, I, I don't see the reason why you should be losing your shit over that. Like, there's no fucking reason to do it over that. Like, well, let's let's be clear. I don't think. Losing your shit and being disappointed in something are very different. Um, I mean, I could, I could, I could, like I said, I uh, from uh, reading, uh, maybe I'm mistaken, but from reading uh, uh, John Leguizamo's uh, statement, it was just more like, "What the hell, guys?" It wasn't like pitchforks, fuck, you know, blah, 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 <laughs> fuck James Franco. It was like, no, like James Franco. He even said it. James Franco is a, is a good actor. No, and all this stuff. We 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 moved away from the pitchforks and into the tiki torches. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Like, I still, I'm still not clear if white people can buy tiki torches nowadays, like freely, just, just without ask. being labeled, without yeah, without being labeled racist. Ask, ask the color person near you. You know, that's that, that's the rule for any white people. Ask the color person near you. Like, yeah, you all right with this? Uh, yeah, there, there you go. They'll they'll let you know. Oh man, it, it's it's silly. It's just it it really is silly and. um I, I understand the friction, and I, I, I've said that before. I do like the friction. I do like this back and forth that we have happening in our society right now. I don't think it's that detrimental, especially if you start listening to the people and what they have to say, you know, and just having an open conversation about it. Um, because... You know, today, like, on the way to the studio, we were driving through this one neighborhood. And um, what occurred to me was that the neighborhood was not very well developed, but it was right near a very important infra infrastructure. It was right near a train station. It was right near a bus terminal. So I was very, very, very surprised that the neighborhood was not gentrified, because usually that's what... Uh, money does nowadays right like they they look at already established infrastructure and then they come in and they kind of like spam it a little bit if i can say that because it really is spamming like they'll they'll, they'll build high rises and it's convenient for nobody no, it's not for community. No, for, it's no, no not. for commuting, not for community. Oh, I'm like, what? Are you for mind? commuting. <laughs> because for who? For whoever can afford it. Yeah, it's it's it, yeah, it's it's so it's, it's it's really good at uh, misplacing people. So now they have no homes. So they gotta find somewhere to go. Hey, man, like yeah, Fuck misplacing. That. See, that, that's where like I don't agree with that because what? that at the end of the day, that is the like. The nature shit. <laughs> like, you either get better or you get your shit token. Like, it has happened throughout the years all the time. Like, dude, we've. What, there's what, stories what about, for. What, what, what about families that, 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 can't, that can't afford uh, to, to, to move? Or what about families that just move there because they can't afford oh, it? Oh, trust me. Th those people are not the type of people that um, will go without nothing. Like, it's, it's very you, interesting. So I, I would explain. It's very interesting how renting laws work, especially in New York. 
in New York State. Like New York City and New York State. I used to date somebody that man actively managed buildings and in New York City, right? And um, the amount of rights that people and renters in New York City slash New York State have is bonkers. Like, it is really, you know, you have to spend the time and read it. But, for example, if your landlord says today that he's changing the building to commercial space and you need to be out by the end of the month, you can take them to court and you can legally stay there up until you get paid for enough for you to move. Whatever that amount is, right? Like, um, for example, there was one case in New York. What's the problem? No, 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 there's no problem. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, uh, that, what I'm saying is that all those people that you're saying that are in a disadvantage, actually, this is one of the biggest advantages they have. If the neighborhood is getting gentrified and they don't want to move, but they will have to move eventually, the developers or whoever, they need to get paid off. And it's not that they're not just going to give you five grand and be like, fuck off. Like there is a whole process where it goes to negotiations and there are people that have gotten millions of dollars. I, um, I have to find the article. There was one guy in New York City where so you, uh, something similar happened where they were they wanted to build a, build a, high, a high rise. Yo, he took them to court. And at the end of the day, he moved out for like one point five million dollars. Because they just needed that space to fucking build the high rise, and he was the only apartment of the building holding off. There's um, when I used to live on 141st and between Broadway and uh, Hamilton Avenue. Uh, sorry, 143rd, not 141st. 143rd between Broadway and Hamilton. The guy that took over my room, um, he had flooding in his apartment. Right? They paid for everything he lost. Plus five thousand dollars, so he can vacate the premises, so they can rent it to somebody else after that. After they fix the place, they fix the leak. They they they, they took away right. Like there are laws out there uh, specifically for that to to make sure that people, especially low income people, are not just put on the street because so and so said so. You know, like they're granted. See, that, that's the thing. Like people, and maybe I'm being a, um, I'll call it an asshole for saying this, but you really need to learn and to like read up on shit that matters to you, that matters to your housing, that matters to your food, and that matters to your income. Like, for example, if you ever get laid off, and they give you a severance package, you should always take that severance package to a lawyer, to an employment lawyer, so they can go over it, because there might be some rules that you don't know about that you might benefit from and get a better package. Mm -hmm. Like, for Not example, like power. yeah, like for, for example, there, there is a, uh, a very good instance in my old company that when people were getting laid off, um, you know, it depends on the on the title that you hold. That if you're AVP and above, you you automatically get one year of severance, right? Like they give you that shit like on your last day, pa -pam, boom, like checking your bank account. Um, there are times where you can extend your insurance. Don't shake it too much, or it might fall out. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, like you, you get insurance. You, there's so much shit that you can do to protect yourself, but you kind of need to put in the work and go in and look at the laws and understand them. And if you don't understand them, you know, that that's totally fine. Whenever that happens to you, just make sure that you take it slowly and you know all the possible moves that you can make. And I think that that's really not thought in our society at all like we rely on these minute feed information they those i call them clickbait click bites not clickbaits click bites 
where it's like, oh, yeah, let me tell you about the new employment law. And they give you like three bullet points. It's like, nah, I need to go in and understand what is this, how this applies to me. So when the time comes for me to, or if the time comes for me to protect that or defend myself or like keep my employment, I have a good understanding of what I can or cannot do. Uh, that's that's a, that's a good point. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. That, that, that's really, really, really important, man. Yeah. No, um, no, definitely, definitely agree on, on that. On that, uh, you should you should look into things that that matter to you and things that will help you and benefit you. I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't mind those. Uh, what, what do you call them? Click bites. Click bites. Click bites. Click bites. Um, I don't mind them so much. But what I do do, <laughs> do do. Thank is, you. Uh, what well, I do do too. What I do do is, uh, if I see something, and I, and it'll just like it'll just like. Rapid fire, boom, boom, boom. These, these facts about this thing, I'll save it, but I'll take everything with a grain of salt. Um, I'm gonna, I, I straight up gonna. If it's something that interests me, I'm gonna look into it. If it's not, I'll just, you know, I'll just swipe and whatever because it's like, like, oh, um, I saw this video recently about uh, it starts. It's this, I forget, I forget what you call the profession, but is is this uh, is this woman and she's. Five tips uh, about your hair that you didn't know, and it's uh, things like don't go to sleep after you shower, or uh, don't do this. And, and she's like in the field, so she's speaking on, with authority, mm -hmm. or she claims. Um, so uh, what I what I did is I uh, I shared it to to uh, to. Um, holy shit words to a couple of groups of, of, of chats of friends that i have mm -hmm. you know one of them being my lady and uh, my sister-in-law um so we were like i want to see what you guys think um and and like that's that that's that's kind, that's kind of it even even things as minuscule as that or as banana as that don't just if you see a video and, and it just tells you facts don't just take them as facts. Just because somebody says they're facts, it doesn't make them facts. Oh my God, have you been watching clips or even like parts of the freaking Alex Jones trial? Oh man, dude, that thing was amazing. One of my favorite. What like? Uh, well, it's <laughs> um, not not gonna not gonna say names, but it was very reminiscent of conversations I have had with conspiracy uh, folk. Like like I don't even talk to them anymore. But like so deep into the shit, it re, it re, right, like what what the judge was telling Alex when he was telling Alex Alex Jones, she was explaining it was like like the way she's talking to him, or she's like, this is not your show. I find it I find it hard that I have to tell you to stop lying, but you keep lying, you know. And 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 he, and he just like just start saying random stuff. It's like, why are you chewing gum? You shouldn't be chewing gum. And he's like, oh no, is that what I got? He just like just say things, you know, just to like to like. Like you'll tell him something, and he'll be like, if I like, if I if I told you, bro, hey George, how can you wear a short sleeve shirt? He'll be like, oh well, you know, I have my headphones on, and then I went for a walk. Like, what, what, what the fuck? That, that has nothing to do with what the fuck I just said, you know? So it was, oh bro, it's it's it, 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 it's so great. So like, it, it reminds me of that. It, oh, like that, that that was it. She goes, just because you say something is true, just because you just because you believe something is true, doesn't make it true. Yeah, because that's 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 what that's what he kept saying. But dude, like it's Alex <laughs> Jones, Alex Jones is the dollar store version of Donald Trump, bro. They, <laughs> like, yeah, they're they're the is. same, bro. And I remember there was this dude in the liquor store that praised him so much one time, but not one time, all the time. Oh, like the, he the gave the us the guy. Yeah. I hope he's doing fine, man. I hope like yeah. that dude needed help, like severe, proper medical help, not therapist, medical, like with pills. That dude was so paranoid; it was crazy. And again, that's that is the percept. You know what? Like I've been thinking, the story you tell yourself about yourself could be so powerful that it could make you the greatest man alive or the biggest piece of shit alive Ooh. like it is so powerful man it is so powerful because <laughs> like, i'm a real big piece of shit 
<laughs> like not for nothing, but uh, <laughs> blop. <laughs> you know, you know, every time <laughs> that was funny. Oh man! You know, every time, every time I I, I get like a praise or something, no, especially at work, like a flex. Like I would either go to the bathroom, and be like yeah, you fucking really? get it, yeah, yeah, and there's a good reason for that. That actually pumps endorphins into your blood because mm. you think you did something heavy, like it's it, interesting. It, yeah, like I, dude, I was I, talking about it like my last therapy. Like I was talking yeah. about it to my therapist, and he likes lifting weights, <clears throat> and I was like, yeah, man. And he goes, you know what? I'll tell you something. He goes, there is something very satisfying about lifting an extremely heavy object and putting it down. And it, like, that <laughs> stuck with me so. I'm like, shit, yeah, there, there, there is. It's an accomplishment. Yeah, yeah, it is. And I think that that's how, well, that's how I like to celebrate my accomplishments right now. And that's how... It, it, it's working better because it pushes me to do better work. It pushes me to think more. Did, did, did your therapist suggest you to to flex? No, no. That's I just read it, I just read it on um, some stupid ass like article, but then I read the research behind that because they had actually they had it uh, referenced. Yeah, and they had the whole research behind it. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Yes, always like, look for references. Yeah. Any claim, anything, anything, always, always look for references. Oh yeah, very yes. important. Yeah, don't just don't just share and believe stuff. And if you're wrong, it's okay to be wrong. Yeah, but yep. check it, your sources. Th that is important. That's that's actually what makes you a good citizen, because. If you use that slight bit of skepticism and not always fact check, like, you know, for example, you don't want to fact check somebody's story because yeah, like, it could the, be a lie. There, there, there are levels. There, yeah. Like, the, oh, oh, man, if I could go just like a, a very small tangent, like um, there are levels of truth. Um, th there are certain things that people say that, that you, you can just take them on their word. You know, like probably the best example is if you tell me you have a dog, yeah. I'm going to believe you. You know, it's like, well, I mean, that's, I, I know you for a long time. You know, people have dogs, even if a stranger tells me they have a dog, it's like, why wouldn't I believe you? It's like, of course you have a dog. But if you tell me you have like a million dollars and a fucking Lamborghini, and you, but you only, you were renting a room in a house, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to question your, your story. You know, like there's, there's, there's levels of, 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 of skepticism. There's like, it's not just like, oh yeah, right. No, you don't. It's like, like, no, that's, that's cynicism. That's different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Oh man. Uh, when somebody's telling you a story, especially experience story, right? I agree. You, you don't fact check it, like stuff like that. Also, though, when they're telling you a financial story, you kind of want to like dig a little bit deeper. You can actually always fact check them by, um, and that's something that I learned from a detective, which is <laughs> hilarious, by remembering one part of the story and then g taking them back to that part. And if the story changes, Ooh. right? Because oh. like you just let them talk, you let them talk. Because there's a lot of people out there oh, that are my, full of shit, right? Oh like, man, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna it use is, that, it is, that it, sounds fun. Absolutely. It is a great fucking tool. Hell yeah. It is a great what? tool. Yeah, man, because- um, I, I, I gotta remember shit. Sucks. Uh, I, I didn't tell you that, but I met another police officer in the NYPD. Oh yeah. He's a he's a detective, and uh, he deals exclusively with um, Bulgarians. No, oh, no, <laughs> no. We 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 keep our thing down low, bro. Like we we don't get caught that much. Oh, if at all, word. I don't, I, like I have. A, I know for a few I, Bulgarians being caught. From I, doom, I wonder. Doom I shit. wonder what's different. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh. <laughs> That's it, bro. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, today that just happened to us. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, for you sure, we're gonna get pulled over. You tell the no. story. No. You tell the story. Yeah, so, yeah, so, 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 we do picks you up at the train station, and um, you know, we're heading over here, and he asks me, um. This is the right way. And I'm like, no, no, I think we got to go the other way. And as he's turning around, 
as he's as he's making a u-turn i'm like fuck i realize that no actually i remember this now you have to go the other way so he pulls out you know and he's going and he makes like a, a pretty wide ass u-turn in front of a cop <laughs> like the 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 the, the, the freaking cruisers right there is like it's just waiting on the on the crosswalk and we just drive away and the cop didn't do anything i, I was like all right <laughs> <laughs> now do you think that the cop should have done something um or, I, no, or, I, I would i would i would hope that every cop if they saw that they wouldn't do anything um but i think that they that had you not been driving had the seats been swapped <laughs> i would have gotten pulled over yes absolutely i absolutely believe that i would have gotten pulled over Oh shit! That's a deep belief, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and do you think like, do you think it would be because of your skin color that they will have pulled you over instead of me pulling instead of? It would have been a racial. Uh, it would have been racially profiled. Yes. Cool. Now, is that because of other experiences that you had with police officers, or? Is that because at the experiences you had, or different experiences you had with different people driving, but the same cop? Right, because uh, I don't, I've, uh, I don't right, think I've ever encountered the same cop twice. Twice. Oh, okay. No, I've, encom- I've encountered the same cop twice, but not the same cop. Meaning the same personality. I've encountered that. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Because I actually have encountered the same cop twice. How? <laughs> That, oh, dude, no, the no, liquor hold on, store. That, hold on, that, that I was gonna say that means you got you you got in trouble at the same spot twice. Yeah, but in in, in the liquor store too. Like it was about. Doing? So it was the person that arrested me. Oh man. Um, she was a cop in uh, Yonkers First Precinct. I, she might still be a cop over there. I don't know. It was such a long time ago. But basically, I got caught selling to a minor, and um, she she was, it was, person, it was a plant, right? No, it was it's like somebody actually tried to buy alcohol. Dude, it was the weirdest incidents ever. Mm. So, remember before? Oh my God! And he passed away too. Rest the in underage peace. Person? No, Aaron. Remember Aaron? Aaron, bro. So our boy Aaron Shout passed out away. To Aaron. Yeah, dude. Like we miss you. We, I mean, I just remember about you. So that's how much I miss you. But. Um, nah, nah, he, dude, he passed away like cool. a while back too, right? Um, about a like, month and a half. No, about two months. Two okay. months, yeah. 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 yeah, like yeah. my man had some health issues and, you know. He, 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 oh, we don't got to tell him. We're going to say the reasons. Just, oh, no, I guess. Know. I mean, that's what I guess. I'll oh. be honest. Like, that's completely <laughs> fucking. I don't know why he passed <laughs> so away. I, so I got <laughs> See, you gotta fact check us too. <laughs> yeah, for real. This is this is all a lie. Yeah. This is all a lie. You know. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah. while so he was working there, I had another friend that was working in Best Buy, and he's like, "Yo, it's my boy's birthday. You know, I'm gonna send somebody to to pick up um, a bottle of uh, a Magnum Hennessy. Like, can you give us some discount? I'm like, Yeah, man, I got you. Don't worry about it. The dude comes in. Parks his car right in front of the liquor store where the fire lane is. Leaves keys, the car on, doors unlocked. Shit. Gets better. Comes in, picks up the bottle. I ring him up. Nothing. He's like, yeah, we're cool, whatever. Yeah. Then he leaves the bottle on the counter and goes to the lotto and gets a scratch off. While he's scratching, a cop walks in, and he's like, whose car is that out there? He goes, it's mine. The cop takes him out, but before the dude leaves, he comes back around the counter, grabs the bottle, and leaves the store with it. Oh, my God. Dude, it gets better. They're talking. Five minutes later, the cop comes in with his ID and the bottle. And he's like, did you sell him that? 
And I'm like, yeah. He goes, did you check his ID? And I was like, oh. He goes, he's on the 21. Motherfucker was two weeks away from his 21st birthday. Oh, man. Yo, they call people. They fucking lock up the store. Let me get the ladder, please. They lock up the store. Oh, the lighter. I think yeah. so let me get the lotto, please. I'm no. like, is that part of the story? No, no. They, Damn. They arrest me. Now. Who, who else was there? I was just me. I think it was either me or. Like, the, you locked up the store? Stockport. What happened? Uh, oh, all right, I, oh all right. I, called, I called Stan. Yeah. Stan had to know like right away. Yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah. that's. Like, yo, dude, this happened. He's like, all right. He goes, I, I, he goes, have they arrested you yet? <laughs> no, he's he actually not arrested. He goes, have they cuffed you yet? I'm like, what you mean? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah get arrested. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. yeah. He, he goes, yeah, yeah, you'll get arrested. I'm like, get <laughs> yeah. the fuck out of here. Yeah. Dude. Is that, they is that the time me. you got arrested? Yeah. Mm. They arrest me. I'm like, all right. And it's that that lady that mm. cop lady and i'm like you know she didn't put anything too tight we get into the car her partner decides to show off for some shit yo so first precinct is right around the corner from the liquor store basically right like you go up on um f- not fort hill uh, fort, uh, was it fort hill no, yeah i, I it, remember roberts uh, whatever, Roberts? like behind when you get off the Bronx River to or the Spring Brook to to go to the liquor store. Yeah, it's Roberts, right? No, I think it's Fort Fort Hill. It's Fort Hill. No. Mm-hmm. For real? It's Fort Hill. And then like you make a left, and the the, the precinct is over there. Hmm. But for them to quote unquote book me, they had to to take me to Central Booking. Now, central booking is somewhere around your old neighborhood, like where your parents used to live, where Shorty lives, like oh. around oh, there. Oh, yeah. They had to take you there? They, they, they had to take me there. So. That's a drive. That is a drive. The motherfucker starts doing 120, 140 with only his lights on, not a siren, nothing, between Fort Hill Road exit and took a whole exit. What? Yo, I'm in the back seat. Did you have your seatbelt on? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yo! And I'm like... Oh, man. And this motherfucker is just booking, and I'm like, yo, my man, like, I got no seatbelt. Like, did, did you tell him? It, 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 yeah. What did he say? He was like, yeah, yeah, it'll be over in a second. <laughs> Damn. Was it? Was he a young cat, or was, it, was he an older guy? <sighs> Mid to late thirties, I would say. Jesus. But like he was, I mean, it was a Crown Victoria, and I know how bad Crown Victorias fucking handle. What so, is that a car? Yeah, oh, like dang. it's like old school cop car. Jeez. So I'm like, man, how, I'm like, was, please was, don't crash. Was the chick young? Yeah, yeah, she was fairly young. So then, <laughs> my, my then, dude was doing his dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. then um, showing his feathers. Few, few, few months later, I go to the pizza place, and she's there in full uniform and like we started talking or whatever and I, and I was like oh you mind if i give you a hug she's like like all right cool at, at a singers at singers yeah <laughs> i was like all right cool because we were right. laughing because i was t- i was telling peter who was the owner of the singers at the time i was like oh yeah she's the one that arrested me a few months back <laughs> oh like, that's cool yeah 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 did, did you get her number nah oh no that would have been that would have been pretty cool yeah, that would, that, that would have been a cool comeback story, you know. That would have been yeah. a cool comeback story. Bro. Sorry, like, I met your mother. <laughs> <laughs> she arrested me. Then this jackass trying to show off. Yeah. No, Damn. No, 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 no. Damn, if, that sucks. Just, what an if, asshole, if, bro. If, if if anything went that road, I swear to God, I'll make so many jokes of it because I'll be like, yeah, remember when uh, you put the handcuffs on me, but now I'm stabbing. <laughs> Because I'm fucking her, so I'm stabbing her with my dick. (laughs) Bro, you never felt to surprise me, I swear. (laughs) Dude, that would be like the coolest thing. Where is this going? Oh! All right, all right, there there we are. Oh, dang. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, 
That's wild. Yeah. yeah. So that's the, actually that's the only time that it's I have encountered fucking, the same cup twice. Uh, nah, nah, I've never encountered the same cup twice. Um, yo, that's that's funny. Nah, I was freaking. Um, remember, you just got ID people. Remember, remember that uh, there was that one time I ID this this chick, um, and she got mad. She, you, you remember her? The the, the mm-hmm. uh, I think I think she was Indian. Um, but like she came in, and I don't know. I was like, "Can I see your ID?" You know, they, you know, I was like, "You, the thirty year old and below, you got ID." So I do, and she just gets mad at me. It's like, bah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I didn't understand what she was saying. She was just like literally that she was grunting, um, because she wanted to buy a, like a pint of Georgie or something, and then she like scream, looks behind her and like screams to all. He's like, "Hey." He won't sell to me. Can't tell him it's all right. Like, I'm, like, I'm like, oh, geez, all right. I'm like, yep, you got it. Boom. And all these like, oh, yeah, yeah, she's fine. She's fine. And then the next time Damn. she, the next time she came, she came. She like showed me her ID. She's like, she's like in like her late 30s, early 40s or some shit. I was like, oh wow, that's cool. I'm like, right. sorry, I ID'd you. You know, like Jesus, it's just, couldn't take the compliment. I just, it just, no, I just don't want to go to jail. You know, <laughs> yeah. Jesus, fuck that, bro. Yeah, no, oh, man. man, jail is uh, not a place where you want to be. Funny enough, though, that night I went home. <laughs> like that's if they did not keep me in bookings and just what, had just to pay release out. you well, what do they what do they say the job to the they to... fingerprinted me they run my record or not record but like they run the background check and they're like yo have a nice night what yep. so what's the whole point then was, uh, was, <laughs> can they just give I you mean, at the end, no, they could have just the, given you a form at uh, at, the, at, the the, store at the store and store, been like yeah. here fill yeah. this out your fingerprints all right don't do it again bye that's that's what it was yeah no they they took me to court afterwards i mean yeah just that you know, was like a 300 ticket i had to pay yeah but but that's so stupid is it what would you just do just I, f- I feel like even as a police officer i'd be so annoyed i was like you know what dude now we're gonna do it over here you know just fill this paper out you're good i you think know. i think that's why he was driving so fast because like it was probably at the end of his shift <laughs> and he was like fuck i gotta do all this paperwork yeah. now like fuck that shit <laughs> you know let me get there super fast like i don't need this oh, motherfucking man. bookings oh that's uh that sucks who came to pick you up Parents? uh no no no, no. Uh, a friend of mine mega Na- oh nice i actually called nice. him while i was in the liquor store and was like yo can you come and then just follow the car Oh, we're, yo, that Dude. is, yo, that's fucking awesome. Like, he, it, is that what he did? Yeah, oh, he he kept up with him. No, <laughs> <laughs> it took him a while to find where where they went afterwards. Oh man, it was it was right before it was that that time right before, like mobile GPS. You had to actually mm. have that GPS unit in the car oh yeah like the tom tom or yeah, garmin like it was the gps yeah it was it like in its own thing yeah like it's not an app <laughs> no yeah know? that's what i meant it wasn't it was its own thing it was in a it was in an app uh which is crazy bro. remember map quest you had to print out the freaking oh, <laughs> what's the shit man <laughs> the you maps to read. or you just maps you know you got laws you got laws you had to ask somebody hey where am i <laughs> wait do you know how to read a map yeah i mean you look at where you are and then you just follow the lines yeah but like do you know what the numbers mean and oh all the technical stuff now no yeah it's actually pretty cool it's 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 really you know i mean got magellan over here we because i had to read them because i drove so much man like i it, it was crazy i had like i i started driving in 2003 or 2004. Mm and uh it was like for example if we wanted to go see races in flat i think that's around the time i started i learned to drive too yeah well <laughs> i learned way before that i started like <laughs> legally driving oh no that's when i learned because i was like i don't fucking want to learn how to drive uh, that learned. was the first thing i did <laughs> like my dad I just walked everywhere <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. My, my my dad actually would put me on his lap and like i would steer the car probably cool. since like three four years old yeah, my brothers used to do that. Yeah, I was just super like, cool. I don't want to do that shit. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was that was like super cool. And yeah. uh, I was like, he's me the around. He he's the person who actually taught me how to drive. That's cool. Like, dude, yeah. If you see my dad drive, especially on turns, and like it's just man inside the car and be like, yo, just drive. Like he, oh, he, oh for real? Yeah. Oh yeah. snap! 
Mm. Is he a better driver than you? Nah. Nah? <laughs> he doesn't practice. Uh, I like practice religiously. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He doesn't practice. That's wild. He, that's, he that's just has cool. the natural nag for, yeah. you know, he understands geometry, so he knows where to turn, like, Right. Because when you're driving, that's that's the whole point. And it's one thing to drive on the street, it's another thing to drive on a track. But even on the street some some of the track rules apply. For example, you can you can really anticipate how the next turn would be by just looking at the, at, at its apex, right? And uh it's you know, how you position the car. It's very physics related like because I can you, imagine yeah yeah because you have you have also shifting of weight you right. have uh gravity forces that are pushing you different ways right like for example um you know when you take a left turn i don't know if you notice but all your body goes to the right yeah and those are like physical forces that you need to kind of know how to minimize mm. because if you if you like and you know, manipulate you cannot manipulate them, but you can definitely... Um, no, you don't think so? Even if you understand them, how they work, then you could be like, well, if I go like this, then I could use the momentum to do this. Yeah, Yeah, but that's not manipulating the force. Like, for me, to manipulate the force is to make it behave in a different way that naturally would. Oh, no, no, that's like, that's that's a superhero shit, you know? Yeah, no, like, like, no, you can no, definitely I mean, like, you choose know, paths. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can definitely choose paths to which would minimize certain forces. Right. Right? And But that's also fucking very important, because in, in the end of the day, it's also life. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah it, right, that's right. The, the, the name of the game is survival, you know? You just enjoy the... <laughs> You know, ain't, that, you ain't trying to die. That and also, hopefully, <laughs> most success with the least effort. Mm. Yeah, well, you and I were talking about it this weekend. Oh, by the way, this weekend he threw a great fucking engagement party. Congratulations once again, man. We're oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thanks, bro. Making moves, everybody getting married up in this hole. Yeah. <laughs> so, I guess, no, it was, it was it was a lot of fun. It was uh, it was pretty cool having uh, um, just my. Or both immediate families, you know. Um, it was it was a good time. It was it was def most definitely a yeah. good time. It was it was. So you and I were talking during the party, and a while back I was listening to a Rogan podcast, and he said something that stuck with me, and that was, "This world is not made for hard work." It's mostly made for hard thinking. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah. Right, because the harder you think, the you would most of the time find the path of least resistance. And that's why, That's I think that that's the, the natural balance that the human always tries to achieve. The best result with the least resistance. Mm. on the path to that result which is honestly fucking quite fucking dope like it's quite great so it's the same thing as driving you try to minimize the forces that will act upon your body to choose the fat you know the easiest way now if you're racing that's a different story because there you actually switch it around you you choose the fastest path to the goal no matter what the physical toe is and if you look at like professional race drivers i mean those guys especially in formula one they pull some sort of like gravities that will make your head spin like they pull uh, there was <laughs> the, the very interesting there was there is a video and i'll put the link down here there's a video of a regular guy driving a formula one car and he was like when i pressed the brake pedal my head went forward to the to the point where he couldn't see the turn he just stared at the steering wheel when he put it, when he was able to put his head back up he was already at the turn so he had to like literally turn these guys pull forces of like 
four or five Gs. Damn. That when they're taking the turn, everything goes the opposite way. Holy shit! And like, yo, so you gotta have like the strength to freaking be able to turn the to turn the wheel, right? Like, I assume I that pull, has to be tough as yeah, well. But also, I will put another video in the links below where they show the neck training and the the leg training that those people go to. Like, what? Dude, it is some. What kind of training do, is it? Oh, dude, they have they have a thing like a like a Raiden helmet that's connected to Raiden a, like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, Mortal Kombat, like yeah. some, something similar, that's connected to a weight thing over here, and they have to move the weight like this way, and then like they switch it on, and they do the same shit on the other side. Oh, so you gotta have those strength, those strong so neck that, that muscles, strong neck muscles, then. Like it's crazy because they have also minimum weights that the, the the driver should be. Weights. Yeah. So how how what's what's the heaviest you can be? So, uh, no, you can, you, can, you, can, you can be like as as heavy as fuck. Nobody cares. It's oh, the minimum light. weight. Oh, so you can't be too light. So <laughs> the driver plus the car, and I, I I'm. I have to fact check myself on that one, but I think empty car, so no fuel in the car, has to weigh minimum 790 kilos. So that will be about 1,600 pounds, a little bit below 1,600 pounds, wow. maybe wow. like 1,500 pounds. Wow. Like, that is the minimum. So these guys have to be like really careful because if they have... <laughs> one kilo more on their legs than they're supposed to. Just one kilo of muscle. On their legs? Like specifically yeah. their legs? Like just said, specifically oh, their oh, legs. Oh, yeah. okay. That slows them down and can cause them like... Cause them to race. Well, not only the race. Like it can cause them to the point where they cannot go, let's say, from more than the top 10. Oh, like, oh yeah. Because so, so that's the, how yeah, much it, it slows down damn. the car. Damn. So like they're like some crazy fucking ass. Wow. Because I, I think I think it's it's honestly the peak. If you're too the light, meat. if you're too light, you, you you could you could affect the speed of the car. That is wild. Dude, if you're too that light, makes sense, it, right? Because you got to be. This has to be a, a certain level of weight. Yeah, to, yeah. To keep you down. But check this out. If you're too light, they have to put weights in your car. To meet the minimum weight requirement, which even further <laughs> slows you down, because now this is a constant weight, while right. you yourself can lose weight throughout the race. What? Oh yeah, they lose like it's it's a sport. You like you sweat a lot. Oh my, yo, the ticket to consideration, you losing weight in the time span of the race. Yeah. How much? How long are, are, are the races? Uh, but like, well, the maximum amount of race can last is three hours. But like, you so have a certain it, number much, of laps. How, or let's just say three hours. How much weight can you possibly lose in three hours that About it affects six, six pounds of water? What? Oh, do they do they pee? Do they have a thing that connects that connects their their? their so their, they don't pee. They don't go to the restroom during races. So how how do they lose? Uh, <laughs> so, well, they work with nutritionists and doctors to time their digestion so they don't go to the bathroom for those three hours. Damn. I'm telling you, it's insane. Like, Bro. I was. You, you, hold on, hold on. You, is it possible for somebody to have to pee? They, on, they tell them no, to wait, pee right on. in the suit. Uh, but hold on. But by you peeing, that's. Because now, now you're gonna lose weight like this. That ha the, does that risk the 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 race, right? Because like now now let's just say you just lost I don't know how much how much was half a, a pound a, cu a cup of pee, you know? Like if you lose that much, like now the cars are gonna go. <laughs> you know what I'm oh saying? no 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 no! <laughs> the downforce is the car is not gonna go out of control. Yeah, but it might be faster. Oh, and it might be unless, like, unless you're on that minimum part. Yeah, unless yeah, you're like I'm, super light. If you're like I, super light, I have light, to check. And you, and you pee, I have to check. You know that, that you're I too have light. to check when the minimum weight is required. Is it before or after the race? Like I really have to check that. It'd be kind of weird if it was after the race. Yeah, because like 
Exactly. It will be weird because uh, race car drivers lose weight during the race. So right. I think I'm pretty sure it's before, but I, you know, yeah, I, yeah, we'll, yeah. we have to fact check it. It, it was. Yo, that's fascinating. I just learned dude, a lot about racing. Yo, that even, wow, that's pretty wild. It's crazy. Like they legitimately on food intake time because of the need of them to poop and pee. Wow. They don't eat or drink while they're driving. They do drink while they're driving because of the um, water weight, uh, water weight that you're gonna lose. It's just oh, yeah, so yeah, much. Yeah, like yeah. there was one time where Perez, uh, who's your, by the way, your national buddy, my but, national buddy. <laughs> yeah, because he's a Mexican too. That's why I'm like national. <laughs> I, I <buddy>. figured. <laughs> I, 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 I forgot. Your national buddy for henceforth. <laughs> yeah. uh, anybody that I meet, that's dude, dude, because uh, like, I couldn't same say nationality. Countryman did not come into my vocabulary at that point in time. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But like, so he's your countryman. It's been my buddy. And there was like one really hot race to the point where he was like, he barely finished. I think he won that race too, but like he barely like the something happened with the water delivery system, so he couldn't drink any water. And my man just kept on losing water and losing water and losing like. Eh. Is that why he? That's why he won. No, nah, I'm not saying that's why, <laughs> but like that definitely helped him. You probably. Know? Yeah. Wow. That's right. Yeah. Maybe, you know. You know that thing probably worked fine. He just didn't drink it. <laughs> He's like, oh no, it doesn't. No You're gonna make me slower. <laughs> no sirve. Help me, please. Help me, please. Oh man. Yeah, man. They, oh, th those type of people are actually quite funny. Those like race car drivers, especially in Formula One, they have silly rules over there. So, yeah. But they have a lot of fun. Some, so it seems. Wow, that's really cool. I have the lighter, please. Here's the lighter, please. This guy. Boom. Thank you. Got Troll, bro. Rich. Yeah, so is it, that's a Taurus lighter, you know. It's always uh, horny. Touring. <laughs> yeah, horny. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. It's always touring somewhere. Yeah, it's like a groupie, but without a band. <laughs> yeah, man. Some group groups. Mm. Yeah, bro. And the so like yeah i started appreciating those people even more because of like the punishment they have to go through you like the punishment they have to go through well, that's fucking dedication bro i i understand uh, the dedication. What, what, your watching, statement was you like them because of the pain they go through is, yeah like what no is it i about admire the pain? them more yeah i admire them more that's, that's a fucking shit i wouldn't endure mm. like what you mean i can have a burger <laughs> what what you mean i cannot <laughs> eat a piece of cake before oh, the race bro because it will make me poop <laughs> oh yeah with this guy yo yeah like oh, we've mentioned this plenty of times but the amount of sweets that you eat is is, is fucking is fucking hilarious um i don't need that much sweets too man bro you've we've been on our way to somewhere and you detoured to go get a goddamn pastry <laughs> what was that which was delicious I don't, I don't know we went to uh it was on that central. is possible by the way but no it was yeah it was uh, it was on central um i think it was the h mart or something or no it was the asian market yeah h mart is that h mart yeah. um yeah and, and you got a you got a thing i mean we got these like bread things these sweet bread things i mean they were, they were good oh um, no Dude, we, had, we had a whole totally conversation sure I, bakery I so, but, yeah uh, motherfucker but we, we've had this conversation we've had this conversation not not on the podcast but um about how you like sweets like that it's like it's just funny to me you even even my ladies like her family like they're they're dessert people I'm not a dessert person. I don't get me wrong. I, I love ice cream. You know, I, um, I grew up eating uh, conchas, which is the, mm -hmm. the Mexican the Mexican sweet bread. And I, I love that. But like, if I'm if I'm eating, it's not a thing that I crave. I just like I'll eat it when it's there. You know. But so that to me, we're, we're like going somewhere, and you detoured for that was like, wow. <laughs> that's dedication, bro. Yeah, that's that's, Actually, that's a love. Yeah, I, I haven't I haven't had one of those in a while. That was really cool. <laughs> yeah, like they, yeah, Tour de Jour is like, it's one of my favorite bakeries. That it's mainstream bakeries. They Korean people know how to fucking do pastries. The fact bro. that it's one of your favorite ba bakeries oh, is yeah. amazing to me. I don't have a favorite bakery. What? 
my point dude you did not have childhood bro like no i said <coughs> <laughs> like he said yeah he ate some uh, mexican ice cream maybe that's the reason like i don't know what they put what? in there some jalapenos and shit this motherfucker like, don't be listening to what i'm saying i said mexican sweet bread mexican ice cream is fucking delicious um oh, yeah, but, you get the paletas and stuff with the nache or the arroz con leche uh mm. Yeah, La Michoacana, yeah. you gotta go to Michoacana on Yonkers. I don't even know if it's still there. I haven't, I haven't been there in like years, but it's dumb good. It's yeah, hot. man, the good, good, good pastries are uh, are not only hard to come by, but finding consistency is like almost impossible. Is that is is that specific pastry one that you've had in other bakeries, or you only had it there? Only had it there. Have you tried it in other places? In other branches, yes. Of that same brand mm -hmm. of bakery. But, uh, no, I'm good, man. But I, I should have asked. <laughs> uh, I guess I got to... Uh, sacrifice. Sacrifice myself. So this tobacco. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it like, again, consistency is, I would say the key to success because pe people people really look for things that they can trust oh yeah like it, the product trust. might not be like top notch top notch like a mcdonald's dude the product doesn't have to be a top notch but as i said prior on this podcast sometimes i just want a mcdonald's and i'm going to get a cheeseburger with uh Big Mac sauce and no onions, and right. have it my like, have it your way. Yeah, that's Burger King. Is that Whatever, Burger King? Uh, <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts, one, one of those. <laughs> right, like that's that that that's the appeal for it. But pastries, pastries mm. to me have always been the basics, but taken to the maximum and i think it has a lot to do with the sugar they add to it because what a pastry is it's really like fucking baked bread but slightly sweeter yeah i mean sometimes a lot sweeter yeah but yeah you know, but yeah and that's to, to, yeah, to, to you, me that's you like master it absolutely that's yeah. such a hard like <clears throat> such a primal thing not even primal it's such a basic thing you know you know that's that's a great point um because when 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 i was um when i, when I was growing up there was this there was this bakery um that uh it was like the first big mexican bakery um in, in yonkers and we used to go to this other one there was like a smaller one um and you know they we had their conchas again that's a that's that's, mm -hmm. a, that's the bread that i was telling you and then we tried this other one and their conchas tasted different and i didn't like the way they tasted so i never had their conchas or at least their white conchas because those tasted weird even i mean like even the chocolate ones mm -hmm. they tasted a little different but they weren't as in your face different but I always remember that. I was like, I mean, I wasn't the one buying them, but I didn't like them. It was like, they taste weird. They had this, like, extra, like, tang, weird yeah, flavor yeah, yeah, when yeah. I wanted just, like, just... Vanilla. Sweet. Yeah. Just give me some vanilla. Just don't do, you know, in my mouth. I just want... Just give me just what I want. You yeah, know? man. Like, that's important. That, that, like, bakers and proper bakers. Uh, shout out to Ariana, by the way. Uh, oh, this chick yeah, does some, like, yes. dope ass cakes, man. Absolutely. Like, Sweets by Ari. Oh, my God. Yo, yeah. they're dumb good, bro. They're like, they're like, it's scrumptious. Scrumptious or scrumptious? scrumptious. I don't know. I think it's scrumptious. I, that's I the think way it I'm is gonna say scrumptious. It. Yeah, yeah. No, they're dumb good, bro. They're so soft. Like, the, 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 the lollipop one with the, with the, 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 the cake bread. pops. Yeah, yeah, the cake pops. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it check it out see you see the stuff yeah yep. pictures that's and shit. yeah now nah, she's awesome delicioso <laughs> <That was just laughs> delicious she actually did uh one for my yeah, like for signing party yeah and yeah. the other day ended like a day after that and i ate most of them 
Yeah. And, you know, I didn't leave much to Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, the married life. <laughs> so uh, whoever gets what first. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, dude, like sweets are amazing. Bad for your body, but good for your soul. Oh, yeah, man. You know, everything in moderation, you know. Exactly. You know, just don't need them all the time because it's, you know, then you get diabetes. And then you gotta, you're not crazy, and then you're like, you get amputated and shit when you got diabetes sometimes if it's so bad. Oh, dude, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. But we're almost there, man. We're almost at the point of like hearing most of the shit. I'm just waiting for spare parts. <laughs> <laughs> Come like, on, car accidents. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, <laughs> car accidents. Like, I, I, I really, I, I uh, really, like, I really wish that somebody would figure out like spare parts for human bodies. But like, oh man, but have you seen those like technology stuff, like the Android stuff that they're working on? Like, they have some limbs, some robotic limbs that they that they uh, connect to to the brain. So you could, so you could like actually control it. It's, yeah, that's crazy. That's, yeah, that's fucking science, bro. Because awesome. he, here's my thing, right? So I don't know if you ever seen a video of somebody with a hip replacement or a knee replacement getting their shit cleaned, but getting their like their so poop, their butt cleaned. No, no. The so the 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 knee. Okay. Like when there's bacteria that grows on that. On that metal, right? Okay. So that bacteria actually negatively affects like everything around it. So when they have to go and like replace the knee replacement already, when they take it out, it's like oh, like like the sleazy thing that your just body naturally produces because it views that part of your body as a not a natural one. So in a way, like, will protect the rest of your body from that, but it takes a lot away from you. And I just want, like, grown parts from your own DNA, where you could be like, oh, yeah, here's my DNA. Oh, yeah, I need a new arm. And, like, to connect like the nerve Like a starfish? Headings. Like a starfish, like, grow another leg? I didn't That's know that saying? it can do that, but... Starfish? Starfish can do that. Yeah, they're, like, they'll grow another limb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know that there's some lizards that can do that. Uh, like, but no, but is that what you're is that what you're referring to? Yeah, um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. To like regrow a human limb, like you, from your own. Oh wow! Because then you don't have to. What 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 what, what the let's say it's the leg? What the what the leg grow? This is like total sci-fi. I'm loving this. Yeah. yeah. What, what what the leg grow like in, a, in an incubation, and then be attached to you, or would it just like go like, you know, like and oh, just grow out? Probably in the beginning, it will be in an incubator. You know, so I just at, hope at that what, science gets stage, to the point. At what stage would that leg have to be so that it could be connected to your knee? Fully developed for your age, I guess. I don't know. Like, that, I don't know how they're going to do it. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, what what are you imagining, you know? Well, I, I'm imagining definitely the incubator part. Mm. Because I don't think it can live to like that long. To the, yeah, I can. I don't think that I can live that long to the point where... They will just shoot you up with something and it will grow from you. Oh man, I feel I feel like if we have some, if we have the technology to inject you and it will grow, that time process. Oh, that's something that could. If if that first part is there, we could figure out the rest. You know, they could yeah, like yeah. speed that shit up. It's like, oh, don't worry about it. In a month, poof, you know, imagine, Brand imagine, new leg, yo. yo, imagine, imagine they fucking uh, uh, give you the wrong syringe and so now you have another arm. <laughs> Like a fucking arm grows out. You're like oh, this. that that would be that would be like a, I, a, a, Aeon Flux. Is that oh, the name Aeon of the Aeon Flux? Oh, damn! You're bringing it back, right? Because she was, has the, 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 the fly with the eye, right? No, that, that Aeon Flux. Yeah, yeah. I know about the lady with the with the hands feet, where she had hands no, instead no, of feet. No, no, in Aeon Flux, the after the title card would come up in the cartoon, they would zoom in on the eye. It was her eye, and then a fly, a fly would appear, and she would like close her eye, like. I'll, oh yeah, I'll, I'll put I have put the image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just yeah. seen like a, the cover of that, and like yeah, that's how I remember it. Was it. You it like, was see, a she, she was like, she could like see her like boobs and shit, right? She was like super tight clothes. 
Yeah, I mean, all of them were super tight clothing. I've never seen a girl in a fucking manga movie or anything like that that has baggy clothes. Oh, but the people don't clothes. know what we're talking about. We, bro, we got to paint the picture, man. We got we to gotta help them out so that they yeah, can visualize it. Yeah, use Google on that one. It's Cody and Flux, and you'll <laughs> you see she has... <laughs> use Google. I got you guys. I'll put the... Uh, I'll You'll put stuff. it right here. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna continue. I'm gonna continue pointing because I don't like. I, I think he like arcs him a little bit when I point where he's gonna put stuff. Because <laughs> he has to align it and shit afterwards. So I'm yeah. just gonna. Oh no! It's, it's just it's 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 more of uh, consistency. Oh, consistency. You know? so yeah. I, I, want, I want there. I want there to be consistency. You know, it's like um, when um, when I put when I put the camera too high or too low. I have to figure out like do I want do I want the uh the text to be up here or do I want it to be down here? You know, on the on the uh, last vi- on the last video at the end I put them more down here just because uh the uh the, the cutoff was like right here. So it, it would look bad to so, like right here because then it's just constantly covering us. Anyway, so these are the fun things that I that I gotta do. It doesn't like irk me, it's just that just so you know where you're pointing, it's probably not gonna be there. It's fine. Go ahead. I'm just yeah. So heads I'm up. just gonna point in like random directions <laughs> from now on. Yeah, yeah. Just be just put it the opposite <laughs> direction. <laughs> like, it's gonna be over there. You can you see the link. It's right here. It's like right here. Do you see it? <laughs> no, point, right there. no. Point towards the clock. You know, it's like oh, it's gonna be over there. <laughs> over there. Hey, it's gonna be up here. Down there. Yeah, uh, in the comments. <laughs> and put nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, dude, it's um. I I, ho- I oh, hope I live next day because. But but don't, but do you think? Don't you think that uh, I think it'd be, it, it's more um. Possible or at least more practical to have um. To go with the technology way, I mean, we could just figure out if if there's like a chemical, you know, if your body, if our body's reacting in some way, wouldn't it be easier to have a? You could just leave it there, bro. Wouldn't it be easier to just have? Um, a sort of I don't know, vaccine or or not even a, a fucking lotion or material that we can develop so that it doesn't react in that way, you know? Because I feel like, dude, honestly, man, if you imagine you lose both your legs and they give you these like robot legs and they could like jump super high and like run really fast, that'd be fucking amazing, man. You know? But you know, I'm not. I'm I mean, still we, being people. We already have that dude that can run that one gold medals because he had no legs. Or oh, was it like what's his name? Oscar the... Pet- Petronas. Pe- Pet- yeah. Oh, the only reason I know about that dude is because of Jim Jeffries. Oh, yeah, uh, why? Uh, yeah, he, he he basically makes makes his uh, makes his uh, joke about um, about how it doesn't matter if you're like you achieve everything, you achieve the impossible. Your girl's still gonna leave you. <laughs> it's, 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 I, I just like super shook it. Go go check it out. It's it's, uh, it's fucking it's fucking hilarious. Um, but um, yeah 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 yeah. I but wonder what so- happened with him. Like I, I haven't seen any stand up of him lately. Oh Jim! Oh Jim Jeffries. Yeah Jim Jeffries. Oh. No, that other guy's in jail. I know about that. Like he shot his girlfriend or ex wife or whatever. Oh. <laughs> Which was crazy. Oh yeah. Oh dang. I forgot about oh, that. Oh my god. <laughs> Were you the one who was telling me or showed me that meme where there was a dude with no legs and he's like, he lost both his legs, but he climbed Everest. What's your excuse? And then the first comment underneath was like, my legs hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yo, uh, I died. I was funny. like, yo, that, that. <laughs> oh man! Like my legs hurt. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, jokes be excuse, and jokes and jokes. There'll, there'll be an excuse for everything, man. But yeah, because today I was like, um, like my wife. I was like, yeah, I'm going to have dinner with my friends. I'm like, all right, fine. Go do you. And then I was scrolling through Instagram and Bill Burr came about. And he has a show tonight at Forest Hill Stadium. Bill Burr? Bill Burr. Oh. And I was going to buy a ticket. Where's that stadium? It's like in Queens. Oh, no shit. Uh, Or at least I think so it is in Queens. You know what? Let me check it. But while I'm talking. But. Bill Burr, and I was like, oh, it's great. I'm going to go see it. 
and then I'm like, oh fuck, I gotta record tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, like it's That's right. Priorities. Forest Hills. Yeah. Stadium. Now nah. nah, Bilber is hilarious, bro. I, I'm, I, I, yeah, that's in Forest Hills. He is, in be, Queens. he is, uh, becoming George Carlin. He, or not, he's becoming George Carlin. He, the, he is catching the George Carlin. Mm. Um, <laughs> to see his last Good. special, it's like, it's, oh, it's live it's, at the Red Rocks. Is that the one that you're talking I about? I think so. The one where he's like outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yeah. Yep. So, oh man, dude, dude, he's just he's just going that lane of fuck, fuck, fuck all of you, you know. It's just it's just great. It's just good. Uh, oh, yeah, man. he's he's always been outspoken. No, he, oh no, a absolutely. No, just I'm saying, like, at the, towards the end, George Carlin, <laughs> he was just like, fuck all of you. I don't care what happens to you. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah i mean yeah, you dude, know. it's it's crazy oh, the, the the work ethic carlin had was insane like this dude would put out uh every year he would scrap the previous year material he wrote uh, and he would come up with a brand new hour about shit not that let me let, let, let's be honest not that living in the united states does not give you the the possibility to do that because you have such great access to information in this country yeah that it, it is a little bit overwhelming it, it it really is because especially when you when you have disagreements with people and a lot of people have noticed as of late would hold something you don't know about against you so so just so they can win the argument and like it has that's, happened to me that's so annoying yeah that's oh. but it has happened to me a couple of times and i'm like oh shit, that's brand new information They're like yeah how come you didn't know about this this i'm like yo my <laughs> life does not revolve uh, around this <laughs> one political right. thing that you're talking about i don't need read all the literature on that like or or you could have just missed something yeah you know like the whole point the whole point is to learn you know it's like but I'll be honest, also I started calling people out on their bullshit, man. I'm like, like I, I guess, it's like... In what way? It's like, if you're just, let's say, not throwing just party lines at me, but like, if I ask you about a source and then you give me some opinion article on it... Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Nah, you didn't do the legwork. I cannot take that serious. Yeah. Um, no, that's that, that's 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 so important. It's um, it it almost um, feels or it seems to be a need to have a response. Yeah, yeah. You know, I need to disagree with you. Um, so look at this. You know, it's like it, it's okay if if it, it's okay to 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 be mistaken it's okay to be wrong you know to, it's okay to be misinformed but the point is when presented with new information to learn and to uh adapt it's not to fucking stick your heels and continue you know it's like no i'm right because i'm right and then so fuck you you know <laughs> vanilla ice cream is the best you know like you know it's like bro just there's certain there's certain truths yeah. You know? Well, do you really think that vanilla ice cream is the best? Ah, uh, it's my personal favorite. Yes. Mine too. And there's <laughs> like a good reason for it. I think that we have had so much experience with vanilla, and chocolate came in after the new world, right? After, after the new world. <laughs> what? Yeah. After after <laughs> the makers were discovered, that's when coca came about. Like, I don't think there was coca. When was ice cream invented, though? Well, that wasn't my point, but that's a good question. I really don't know. We have to really research that. What I was trying to say is that we had, because I'm pretty sure vanilla ash extract has been around for longer, oh, longer than... longer than... Hmm. So people have learned how to... A lot of people don't like vanilla, though. I've encountered... That's why I kind of... It's, it's funny, because that's kinda why I kind of said... That is interesting. It. Yeah, no, a lot of people don't like... People be hating on vanilla all the time. Like, nah, Sage, that's just dumb good. <laughs> 
Yeah. I mean, for some reason, um, it, it became the. Because it's, the, it's the, the first one. It's the basic one, you know. Um, but I, but the, what I think of Vanilla Ice Cream, I think about specifically my favorite one is from uh, the, uh, the what do they call the Mr. Softy, the, the ice cream trucks. Just vanilla ice cream with sprinkles, rainbow sprinkles. Like, give me that oh, shit, bro. Shit. That is the bomb. Don't get me wrong. Um, uh, back back home in in uh, Mexico was one time, first time I had the the double the double soft, but it was chocolate and vanilla, and then they dripped chocolate on it that hardened as it oh. touched the ice cream. That shit was bomb too. Um, you know, so for like I had other ones, but. Something about that vanilla with sprinkles. I will always go grab that one first. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, it's so good. That's what yeah. you get for your wedding, man. Fucking Mr. Softy. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream. Oh, Mr. Softy ice cream. Oh, yeah, with, that'd uh, be cool. Just get, just get it. Just. Uh, I wonder how much uh, what those those cars are. Yeah, I I I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. We'll Bro. figure that shit out. Because that that's a that's a good one. Like, yeah, that's oh man. For so like Mr. Softy, show up. <laughs> Boom. What you want? Oh shit! Nah, fuck that. It's only vanilla ice cream. <laughs> yeah, you know when you're there for the wedding, Yo. which is gonna be next year, right? A getting married next year. Yeah. yeah so yeah, when yeah, you yeah. do that, I will definitely be on the lookout if he's gonna grab that <laughs> fucking wedding with ice cream with the Yo. rainbow sprinkles Yo. sprinkles on it. Hell yeah! But I'll ask you with sprinkles, bro. That's it. it. Needs to be drowned. I I don't want to. I don't. I want to see just rainbows. Yeah. It's like, like, I don't like, want to see it. no white shit for yeah, it. Like, I yeah. want to bite it and yeah. then it's white. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. That's a good one, man. That, like, that, uh, yeah. That. You. Yeah. I, I, I wonder, like, man, we probably live in the best life right now. Oh, I, I think so. As, as best as can be. Yeah, you know, I think it's fucking great. What do you think is going to go in the next? Did you know that Jetson was born in 2020? Yes. Yes. I, uh, sorry, well, 2022. I, I saw it. I saw it in a, I saw it in a meme. So I'm going to take that meme at its word, but I'm going to look it up. Just want to fact check this. But yeah, I saw that shit. <laughs> George Jet, Yeah, George Jetson was uh, born in it's being born 2020. Today. Yeah. Not today. This year. This year. <laughs> right this now year. oh man yeah which is great like it's it's a good it's a good thing why is that because the jetsons had a very easy life bro that's true like they, they had robots yeah you know? robots flying cars that turn into a suitcase and you don't gotta worry <laughs> about parking yeah which is something we still haven't figured out yet which kind of pisses me off parking well, parking and cars that should get smaller after you park them. Oh, man. Like, what that's you, one thing you, that... What, I think what you're trying to say is we need more science in this bitch. We need more techno technology shit. Because that sounds like a fun project. You know? Did you hear, did you hear that, that, that the president invested like $100 billion or something like that for uh, technology? Oh, um, specifically, specifically, which is the interesting part in chips, microchips. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. we need those. Like, so it's like, so I would, I, ju I just saw like the the reports. I haven't read it yet or anything like that. But I mean, some, some, you know, we'll see what this technology goes into. But as always, uh, what it, what it uh, ends up being if you look at the picture from a different angle or the real picture is that they're just real uh in reality they're just tax breaks for corporations so that they can do this yeah so that's even better actually if they use the money for yeah. what they're supposed to i agree yeah but um so as the people are experienced with corporations it's never been that well you know I mean, <laughs> yeah, corporations are weird, man, because they're legitimately an entity made of people. Yeah. Can't well, hold people responsible. That's a problem. Yeah, because it's really fucking hard. It's like, it, it, there could be one bad, bad agent that can bring down a company to its knees. 
and then everybody in that company will be be labeled with a bad name, which is kind of weird. But it, I've seen it happen a few times, and it's it, 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 it it's my thing is if a corporation is doing something illegal for a number of years, there's more than one person to blame. There's like a, a whole, if not all, the CEOs are allowing this to happen, and they should be held accountable. I think that once we're able to hold actual people accountable, because that's in when a corporation, that, yeah, yeah. Uh, then I think we, we could see at least some form of um, of change. Because the whole thing about a corporation being an entity in and of itself, it has rises, like that's fucking bullshit. It's like that's what opens up. What I, opens I up don't the think gate it's to... the corporation that has the rights. I think it's the people within the corporation that are managing it that have the freedom of choice that's right. what the right is technically connected to well, which, well, well the people are the ones that control it but if like if the if the company gets in tr like if let's say they get caught doing something illegal the corporation gets get, like the 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 name like coca-cola gets sued not the ceos that made the decisions the company get sued so nobody re and, and all they end up doing is well, just paying a fine well which, yeah, yeah, so, so yeah. which means and, that and nobody really gets yeah um, and it, it it is because of um the way this thing is structured right because like yeah all right so technically speaking the ceo should be if you do with the technicality way should be held accountable but the ceo reports to other people which is the board of directors, who in turn reports to other people, which are the shareholders. So there is a whole circle around where you have the people that execute the workers, then you have the hierarchy within the workers, the highest one of those workers is the CEO, like CEO, CFO, all those people, they're the mm -hmm. highest workers. And then that goes to the board. So the CEO cannot really decide. Uh, let me rephrase that. The CEO doesn't really decide. He gets, he decides the way it should be executed. But he gets the orders from the board who get their orders from the shareholders. And right. it's like, and the shareholders are citizens. I guess, I guess my, my, my point being is that if you are aware doesn't matter what what title you wear if you are aware of the illegal activities mm -hmm. that your company is doing and not and you're allowing it you should be held accountable regardless of where you sit yeah you know it's like, morally, hey, hey, yes hey. morally yes yeah and that and that's what i'm saying it should be also legally it was like if you know this because you know, that's well, well, legally well, well, has well, to be proven beyond reasonable doubt, and that is the hard part, well, it, well, which is well, also well, a very well, good part. Yeah, well, well, like, well, it, well, it needs to be. It, that's what I'm saying. It, 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 it would be um, if it's implemented. Let's say the, uh, um, then that's what we would worry about. Okay, so how do we prove this? You know, still, I'm still, I'm still all for innocent until proven guilty. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So, I, yeah, so, so, like, yeah. so, so again, if it's challenging, you know, that's that's, but let's. Let's do that because, again, <laughs> that's a, that's a huge tax in capital, man. I mean, I understand totally where you're coming from, and I think that we just haven't matured enough yet to figure out that. Uh, when I say mature enough yet, I mean uh, not you and I, but society has uh -oh. not matured enough Word, yet yeah. to figure out that at the end of the day, if like automation and robots uh, could be a good thing if those people that they take away jobs from are able to do something more with that time. So which, what I'm saying is that, hmm, well, I don't know, like those people should have the desire to do something like govern. And I think that that's really important because that will free up time for those people to actually spend time on thinking and working on social issues. The thing is that they have to 
it, we, in a way, we have to make it feel like work. Otherwise, those people will feel useless, right? And like paid work. We do have severe short, shortage of, let's say, jurors, like all that type of people mm. where if, let's say, they automate driving to the point that truck drivers are not needed, people that would be truck drivers or are truck drivers now should, in a way, be more participant in the government or in governance or like they, they should be allowed to, to, to use more, more of that time to think and work on public issues. And I just don't think that's satisfying to those people. And it's like, it, it's a really hard, cause I've been thinking about that a, a while, right? Like if my job gets automated, mm. like what would I do? And, you know, I just wake up one day and there's no need for accountants whatsoever. I have two choices, right? I mean, I have obviously one choice, which is to learn new skills. But I just wonder why is it that every time we automate something or like make something more efficient, people tend to suffer instead of being able to refocus that same energy onto doing something with the people and one of the things is is really this screaming against taxation right which eventually will have to upgrade a lot because the more and more work robots do the more and more moral problems they have to be solved and you would need people to solve those moral problems simple example driving right if the car loses control and it's on driver's driverless car, the car, and you know, there is like a, a a choice of possibilities. And let's just narrow them down to three for the sake of the argument. The car kills the passengers and saves innocent bystanders. The car kills one child and saves the passengers and other innocent bystanders or the car plows through a crowd of people saving a an infant and the car's passengers but it kills let's say like six people like that is a really deep moral issue that has to be solved but you cannot solve that by just having two or three programmers trying to make this moral decision it really has to come from a a, a group of people and there was this theory about hive intelligence that I've been really enjoying. Because like the more and more I learned about it, the more and more it made sense that the collective intelligence uh, and the collective decision made usually guides society in the right moral way, right? And like they had a very interesting experiment where, you know, you had to make like moral choices and... Um, Oh, you can move you can move like the hive in one direction or another and you did that by the intensity and the direction in which you are trying to move the dot on the screen and like the more and more people started agreeing with it the more and more they started like being consistent about like constantly moving that and you just saw like the collective intelligence because they had like one big dot as a collective intelligence just so move in that direction it was very slow but it was oh, like man. really moving to that direction. I don't know. I, I, and I think I, I think that, that that would be problematic. Um, you can't have majority rule because the majority could be wrong. The majority could just believe something, and they could that is true. Be wrong. I'm not saying it, um, it goes without pitfalls. Yeah. But um, because, oh wait, but, but no, no, no. You, hold on, hold on. There was a good, interesting thing about that. They did not allow the people to communicate with each other. So it was really an individual acting as an individual in the whole, pushing towards one idea, which was very interesting, right? Because we already know that a person will act completely differently if he's by themselves or she's by themselves versus but the, yeah, uh, group, being, group being in a group. Yeah. So we already stepped. So the way they did, they actually separated them. Like they did not have a contact with each other, mm. but they had the decision-making ability. 
And they all made the same decision? Not all. But you said they all moved towards a, towards a common goal. Well, the, the collective intelligence, that doesn't mean that. The collective intelligence, what it did, it just chose... What is the collective? I'm confused now. What's the collective so intelligence? So the experiment was... The experiment was, and again, I will super simplify it. They had, let's say, 20 people in 20 different rooms. And they gave it on screen and they were like, okay, this is the dot, which represents collective intelligence. And you can choose to move it to the left side or to the right side. And then they would measure the intensity and the frequency of which you were touching the screen to guide the ball of which way you wanted to move it, right? And that's the ball they were moving is the collective intelligence, but they were doing it as as individual actors, not having... But they were all willfully moving it to, a spe- to the same spot. Not all of them, because there was, there was still resistance, like some people wanted to move it to the right, for example. There was right. still that resistance, but... No, no. Or, or I guess what I'm saying is that the based the, on the metrics, yeah, the, like the the the, the everybody real. everybody saw the the point A and point B. Everybody yeah. saw point A and point B. Yeah, and then the ball then they had to move, which right. is the collective and intelligence. They were, and they were given the task to move from point A to point B, and some of them didn't move to point B. Yeah, some of them decided to move to point B. Some of them decided to move to point A, and that's not. I just want to understand. Yeah, yeah, I just want to yeah. understand. Okay. Oh. It was a very interesting experiment. I'll yeah, look for yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Let me know. Yeah, no, I freaking, I freaking love those. Uh, like um, it was the same like with so, stock like picks too. experiments, man. Yeah, and there was like another one with stock picks where they, they asked like a bunch of people, and usually whatever those people said, the stock performed pretty well. There was actually one called Ramped Capital where the guy would use Twitter, and mm-hmm. he would give them options, and he would vo- he would have a voting thing, mm-hmm. and uh, that was an interesting experiment too. His portfolio outperformed the market by like 30% or something like wow. that. But it was also that he used, so he gave them choices of which stock to invest in. Next, he said, I'll sell stock A and I'll use the proceeds to invest in one of those following. Mm-hmm. And then he will just take the highest score and he will hold, he will hold that for a minimum of eight weeks. That's Which, like, whichever one they told him to pick. Yeah. And motherfucker beat the market. Interesting. Yep. Do you think that m- most people that follow him are people that are into stocks and maybe they all bought the same stock that he that they said, so then that would have increased it? Oh, it's possible, yeah. Hmm. But that's, that's the so idea. Pretty cool. Yeah. Right, he he got people to 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 do the ja- to do the legwork. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Right, because like I don't have to tell you, like he didn't ask people for their reasoning why they're voting for the stock. Right. He just asked them which stock should be the next investment. <laughs> which was it, it was an interesting one. I think he yeah. stopped doing it, but like it was. I was gonna say, it's like, nah, keep doing that shit, bro. You know. Because if you stop, now I'm like, why did you stop? You know, why? What? What? What made? What made you stop? Because that sounds like a bulletproof plan if it really if it works. I mean, yeah. yeah but then, like, once it gets big, man, what, what? Like, I think that once. Are you about to say there's too much money? No, but like <laughs> once once it becomes a mainstream thing, then it could be negatively affected by. Mm. Right, like mm. and. Then there's some legality issues to that as to like, well, is that a market manipulation in that case? Right? Because you said it yourself, were those people trading stocks? If yes, why would I not tell you to buy the stocks that I'm holding? Right. It's influencers, bro. Is that shit crazy? People be influenced. <laughs> Easily on top of that, too. Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's 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 interesting. It, 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 it reminds me of what you were, um, were talking about earlier about when like somebody gives you you know or somebody gives you praise like you go you know, flex and you stuff. Flex, yeah, yeah. yeah, somebody somebody gives you any praise or anything positive. I'm like the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> what? Why? Sandwich. What do you want? 
<laughs> yeah. All right, man. Let's end this yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. It was Boom. a pleasure seeing you again. Thank you for tuning in once again. And, uh, you know, we'll let you know when we're going to pause the, the next one. <laughs> yeah. Have fun. Be a good person. Stay safe. Use your brain. Be moral. And stay skeptical. Yeah. And, yeah. That's it. Peace. Peace.